Hi guys, welcome back to my, do I sell my teeth? Welcome back to my wonderful, fabulous channel. Is that cocky? As the title says, I'm going to be showing you guys and talking about my most recent piercing. I have done a whole piercings video before where I talked about all my piercings. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But I didn't want to do a whole nother one of those because I've only had one piercing added to the collection. Today we're going to be talking about my new piercing. So if you're here to learn about this experience or to see what the pain was like for this particular piercing, stick around. And if you're also just here because you are interested, stick around also. I kind of was like working on my one ear. It's called, I think it's called like an ear project or something. I basically had that going on with my right ear and so I had a couple piercings on that ear. And then I was like, well, I kind of want something on my left ear because this ear is feeling a little lonely. And I was like, I don't want to get any of the same piercings because I don't want that, like, symmetrical look. I think that kind of looks funny. Even when I was, like, looking at pictures of this particular piercing, like, a lot of people, like, I couldn't find really any, like, clear, good photos. So, to be honest with you guys, like, when I went to the parlor to get it done, like, to the tattoo parlor and where they do piercings and stuff... I didn't really even know what this piercing looked like, nor did I really understand like where it was going or anything like that, which some of you might be like, Emily, that's really stupid. But yeah, kind of. But also, it's a piercing. You can take it out and it's like gone forever. So after school one day, um, me and my friend went and I was like, I just want to get a piercing today. I'm just going to do this because I've been kind of like wanting this particular piercing for a couple of weeks now, so might as well just do it. And I hadn't had a new piercing since last June. So I was like, I need a new piercing. It's time. So I went to the parlor. We, I actually didn't fully decide what I wanted until like we were there and I had paid and I was like, well, I guess I paid. So now I better get a piercing, but I don't know which one I want. So I decided on this one and it's called the Rook. I, there's certain piercings I wouldn't personally get. This is one of the ones that I probably wouldn't have gotten. Like had I known back in the day, like when I wasn't really into piercings yet, but I like kind of like it. These piercings I have on this ear are very like cutesy and like, oh, it's a piercing, but this one on this ear is like very, it's a piercing and it's in your face and it's big and it's bulky. Anyway, so I will show you guys what it looks like now and hopefully you all like it. If you don't, that's totally fine. My dad hates it and uh, that's what I get for being an adult. So that's what it looks like. Just keep in mind, I just got this pierced like a couple days ago, so it's still very, very sore and it's healing. This is a very interesting piercing because, at least to me, you can see where it goes in you can also see where it comes out, which is like on the other side. You can't see that for any of my other piercings, you just see the ball. So this one's kind of more, that's what I mean, like it's more like, oh, in your face. I really like this though because I think it's like very hardcore. It makes me feel like I should be in a punk rock band. I'm okay with that. Now, if you are like, oh my gosh, Emily, I love that piercing. Tell me about your experience. Tell me how much did it hurt. All this stuff. I will do that right now. I actually was nervous, and I've never been nervous for any of my other piercings. Like, I didn't even get no nervous for my nose. I didn't get nervous for any of my other ones. I just wasn't nervous. But this one, I felt really nervous about it, and I think that also is because, like, I didn't really know what it looked like. Um, so I didn't really know where it was going to be on my ear. And he asked me, like, what ear do you want it on? I told him I want it on my left. And he said, well, there's only really one spot that I can pierce on your rook to, like, actually give you the piercing that you want. So it's a little bit further in than most people have it, but I kind of like that it's kind of tucked away and not so, like, bam, chicken and ham in your face. And then when he actually pierced it, this is kind of gross, and he told me, like, this won't happen to everyone, but just because of the fibers in your cartilage, some people have, like, really fibrous cartilage, so it's very tough and rough and hard whereas other people have softer cartilage tissue and it's and it's easier to pierce through well apparently my tissue on this ear is very very tough this year I've never had this happen but on this year when he pierced it it cracked and that was probably the most disgusting thing like good thing I have like a very like steady stomach when it comes to like injuries and gross bleeding stuff like that because I think my friend almost threw up like she was like Oh, that's disgusting. It made a really loud cracking sound, which I didn't say anything while he was piercing it because I was like, just like get this over with. And I will tell you right now, this is probably the most painful piercing that I've had of any of my piercings. Um, the pain lasted for much longer. I asked him like, is the cracking normal? He said yes, but that was like a really loud crack because of this kind of tissue, blah, blah, blah. 
and I was like, okay, and he's like, yeah, it's like piercing, so the pain will go away, like, in like a couple days, or like, in like an hour, and I was like, yeah, you're right, so, like, I went home, did my thing, and it was throbbing, like, just so sore, and it still is really, really sore, like, if I touch it at all, which I have tried not to, it hurts, like, it, it makes me sore like it throbs I got some salt water and stuff to clean it with some saline solution so I've been cleaning it with that but even when I clean like the bottom part of it like you guys saw where it, how it loops down that's where it hurts the most so I've been trying to just kind of leave it alone for the most part like I don't want to obviously you don't want to touch any pier piercings because of getting an infection or anything like that but for me it's more like I don't want to touch it because it freaking hurts and like today I haven't really felt it at all like it feels a lot better but I will tell you when I originally got this this is definitely the most piercing most painful piercing I have and I was like kind of debating between the rook and the dice I think it's called the guy told me that the dice is the most painful piercing that you can get and it's just a little bit lower down like down here I really like the way it looks like I'm kind of coming to terms with it like when I first got it done I was like I don't know if I actually like this at all but now I'm kind of like I think it's kind of awesome and I feel kind of hardcore and like badass with it um, and obviously piercings are so easy to get rid of like you just take it out and it grows over and you're done um, that's why I like them so much so if you guys have any cool piercing suggestions for me let me know like I was thinking about getting like a I think it's called like an anti tragus or something I have so many ideas I love piercing so if you guys have any cool piercing ideas for me please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out my most or my piercings video that I did but I believe last summer so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all soon bye